If you're not with me, part one. Turn right after 30 meters. Damn it, where the hell am I? Thanks for everything. You've been a great help. Hello there, Grandma. Looking younger every day, I tell you. <laughs> Found a grandson at the crack of dawn. What do you need the camp for? Come on, tell me. I need to take a horse from there. Right there is my special van for it. Ah, uh, what times are we living in? You drag your bags around <laughs> like a dray horse. And the horse is riding well, a car. a horse is expensive. Uh, anyway, where's the camp? Where do you see the camp? Look around here. These are professionals, decent people, scientists. The gypsies live over there by the bed. How do I get over there? Listen, Grandma, why don't you let me help you with your bags, and then you'll show me the way there? All right, now we're talking. No. A promise is a promise. <laughs> Come, open the car. Then. Listen, let's drop by the market. I'll get some potatoes and a couple of cabbage uh -huh. heads there. All right? Since we're close by. And when we go out, you turn left straight away. There's a gas station there. From the gas station, go straight to the bend. Uh, just stay alert. The road will get away from you. That sounds spooky. It's bewitched. That's why it has a mind of its own. A gypsy died there, and her soul drives people away. But it's not so bad, really. The worst thing is hearing all the cuckoos in that place. But how do you drive all the cuckoos away? There's a special spell for that. Oh. Uh... Well-behaving boy, how am I going to live without you? Well, maybe your new master will let me visit you at your new home, right? Let's go. Give us a ride on the van. Get lost, huh? The man's on business here. <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at her. 
Serena brought a stray gadget to the camp. <laughs> Good morning to you too, Rosa. Good morning. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah? Where did she call me? A gajo. It means a stranger, not a gypsy. I see. You know, you actually don't look very much like a gypsy either. What kind of camp is this? Where are the tents? Where are the wagons, too? All those kerchiefs and skirts, not so much a camp. Almost all gypsies have settled in the city now. You can't really drive in the city or on a motorway in a wagon. That's a pity. When I was a little boy, a gypsy camp stood by our village for a whole summer. They had some sort of holiday. All the boys ran there to watch it, and then our mothers slapped our asses. You know what? We're gonna have a kind of holiday this evening. Come if you want to. And no one's gonna call you a god show anymore. <laughs> really? I would love to. Are you sure, though? Well, of course. We can go ask my grandmother. Right on. Grandmother! Grandmother! Listen, Stepan right here came to visit us, but there's no one in the office. Nice to meet you. Well, hello there. Seems you come with a kind heart. No one's here. Ramir went to the city to pick up Lyosh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I hadn't thought about that. What do we do then? Well, Mira will open the office. The horse is your problem. I appreciate that. Oh, Grandmother, do you know where I met this guy? He was jumping on one leg over on Masha's glade. <laughs> now, don't think I'm a little funny in the head. It's just this woman persuaded me. Well, I got lost at first, and then she... <laughs> All right, let's go. Persuaded, huh? Come on. Grandmother, can I come to your holiday today? Your girls are just so beautiful. Uh, our beautiful girls aren't interested in a gajo. <laughs> well, why are you standing there like a pillar? Go inside the house. And sew the dress already. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he <yeah. laughs> Do you like it? Why are you dressed like a gypsy from another bank? <laughs> a gypsy? Come on, it's fashion. Everybody dresses like this now. What kind of fashion is this? I don't get it. Uh, High, beautiful legs covering them like that. We had proper fashion in my day. <laughs> all right, come on and help me. To the cellar. How did you bring all this? A grandson helped. <laughs> come on, take off the dress. You'll get it dirty before the holiday. I just want to keep it on a little longer. Here, 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 here. Done. Done? Done. Just beautiful. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. Mom's jewelry box. I love yeah, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, what a beauty. <laughs> But why? This one's my favorite. This is not the right time for you yet to wear this bracelet, girl. You promised me that you would give it to me when I grew up. And be careful growing up too quickly. For the day you meet your love. What if I won't live to find my love? You will, my dear. It won't get away from you. Did Mom love my dad very much? Yeah, you wouldn't have been born to be such a beauty if your mother didn't. Zarina! Grandma Shanita! What's it now? The stun, the muddled brains? I just don't understand these people sometimes. <laughs> well, that is something. We won't need to go to the shop until the end of summer. I should have told you I was going. Seen some jinx. I forgot to buy the bulbs again. Oh. oh, that's some fate. We can't buy bulbs for the second month already. Mm, it's going to be a great fate when some guest falls down the stairs. What guests? Just our neighbors, Alex and Boris. Remember, we decided to move the celebration to autumn. Oh. 
Well, this is a mess, really. We're still gonna need those bulbs. <sighs> don't worry, it's gonna be okay. These are still fresh, mm. you're worrying about but nothing. I don't know, get on your bike and rush back over to the shop. I, uh, no, I'll ask Alex. Let him get oh. him on his way here, he won't forget him. I'll ride to ask him, that would probably be better. Huh? Like that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, uh, Natasha. Uh, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> What's up? It's been a minute. Uh, of course I could get them. Which do you need? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Taya, uh, what kind of bulbs are we gonna need? The ones that are 60 uh -huh. watts. And tell him to get a couple napkins. Oh, come on. That's awkward. Why? I don't get it. He's not a stranger. Huh? <sighs> Yeah, 60 watt bulbs. We're finally home, Alex. Why no sanctions? Why no witnesses? Hi, hi there, Mom. Oh, s sorry, I missed that. Could you repeat that again? Nina, look. Yeah. Will he like it? Uh, it's a uh, wonderful uh, uh, globe. You'll see. Georgie is just going to love it. Hello, Natasha. Uh, sorry, I think the connection's bad. Um, uh, write me a text. That should come through uh, the signal Signal better. Yeah. Is it Natasha? Yeah. Say hello for me. Uh, sure thing. Mother says hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, she says hello too. Uh, all right, bye. Look, give it to her tomorrow. Hmm? Natasha. Why, sure, son. Mom, but why? I mean, more flowers? They already have plenty. <laughs> Good thing that you haven't bought uh, more apples, though. I wouldn't be able to carry them around. What do you mean, around. apples? The bouquet is a token of appreciation. Zinya, explain uh, to the boy why people give flowers to girls. Register a voluntary surrender and don't start without me. Alex. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> uh, to be honest, I don't know what I'm in for. We haven't seen her in two years. She could have grown up and straightened out. Mm -hmm. Let us hope so. She was such a pain in the neck. Ah, uh, don't be silly. She liked you. Oh, yeah. Boris, she's only a child. Oh. When will there be light on the staircase? I nearly... I counted all the steps with my ribs as I fell down. Well, good morning. Just wait for a bit. Alex will buy the bulbs and bring them. Ah, sounds good. I need Boris <laughs> and him for serious business. And, and you, you're here creating a magic table spread. Well, what else would we do? We need to feed people. You'll feed everybody well and good when I'm dead. Don't be silly. Now stop your grumbling and drink your tea already. I don't need this anniversary at all. I need Alex and Boris for a serious talk and this egg right here. Well, what took you so long? That horse has quite an attitude. The horse, you're a horse. It's a stallion. <laughs> Attitude is a great attribute. Who's this? This is Zarina. Zarina, a gypsy from the camp. That's right. I wouldn't have gotten this savage into the van without the help of this Hello young lady. Hello to you. Hello to you all. Good afternoon. Sorry for interrupting. Londish was afraid of the horse van. That's all right. It's all right. There, my beauty, let's see. Good boy now. Good boy. <sighs> Very sorry, my name's Oleg. Zarina, nice to meet you. Do you like horses, Zarina? Well, of course, yeah. That's wonderful. He obeys her like he's under a spell. <laughs> it's good that he obeys her. It means she has a kind heart. Horses can sense that. <laughs> Zarina, I have a business proposal for you. Can you please help me calm the beast? Got an attitude, this one. I'd love to, but we have a holiday today. Ah, of course, I know, I get it. Ramir is meeting his son. Yeah, Laosh. Well then, send my sincerest congratulations to Ramir. We can try this again tomorrow. Stepan. Yes, sir. Uh, give the girl a ride. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, but do you still need me tonight? What plans do you have? I want to take a look at the gypsy holiday. Thing is, Zarina invited me. Ah. Well, since Zarina invited you herself. <laughs> All right, that's fine. It's fine. Take care, Zarina. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Yulinka. Let's give it a trot around. 
Ah, you're so pretty, my boy, huh? <laughs> hey, careful with that. I'll help, I'll help. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, leave it. Leave it, leave it. Fred, bring okay. the bread. Right hurry there, up, right hurry there. up, put come it on right there. there. Let's go. Okay, come that's on, fine. Quickly. Time's a waste. Oh, okay. Let's go. Come we on, come on. We got it. We got it. It's go. great. It's They're coming. Be great, I'm telling you. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, this is so exciting. Get over here, girl. Here we go. Oh, I knew it. So what? Here they come. My dear boy. Oh, oh you're really here. Hello, Mom. Mom, what is all this for? It's like a wedding reception. This is way too yes, much. Yes, but son, you're back with a diploma. We've got our own lawyer. I'm just so no, proud. No, my son. No, my son. All right, Mom. Cool. Rosa, Rosa. What? I'm all alone. Come and say hi, dear. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. How are you? I'm good. Welcome back. We've been waiting for you. Oh, I'm honored. Go and get ready. We should meet the guests. It's only right, son. It's wonderful to see you here. Rosa, Sabrina, Dolly, come into the house and change. Who is that? It's Shanita's granddaughter. That's Serena. Don't you recognize her? Well, kind of. She's so grown up now. <laughs> you should come home more often. <laughs> sure, sure, Mom. And I'll stay here forever. <laughs> let's go, my dear. Let's get going. Yeah, let's go, guys. What are you doing? Come on. Let's go. Put it over there. Yes. Uh, now, why on earth do that? We also have barbecue. There's no more room here. And the jelly. There's no part without jelly. We'll slice tomatoes and cucumbers, and that's enough. Enough what? Don't you think I should make some pies now? Yes, yes. What would we do without your pies? With cabbage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bought a couple heads. Well, hello there. Well, now, the circus is here. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> Say, what is it that you're doing? Oh, cabbage pies, huh? That special taste. <laughs> You've blown your act. You're done. <laughs> Couldn't you have waited till tomorrow? Oh, come on now, Father. This is just a warm-up, guys. <laughs> Listen, let's have a taste of Tasia's liqueur, shall we? I think it's about time. Drink, you say? Let's have a drink. What else mm -hmm. could I do with you? <laughs> as far as I remember, Taya, we had this liquor on this very terrace. It was on the occasion of my first premium. Do you remember that? Now, who was it now? Shirokov was there. Moskalov and Yashenko as well. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Ah, Shirokov, Shirokov. Now tell me, who's this guy, Shirokov? He's the one whose recommendation you didn't sign? Is that the one? Huh? Uh -huh. I'm telling you, you didn't sign his recommendation, and they threw him out of the university. Just like that. No, wait. Did they really throw him out because of that? There's just no way. Well, not because of that, of course. It served as an additional kick. As we say, uh, adding insult to injury, right? <laughs> what kind of man is this? What kind of man is this dropped on in and spoiled it all? Does the truth hurt, huh? Oh, the truth is nasty like that. It hurts, man. It hurts. You trump! <laughs> Boozer! No decent well, house would ride. Here we repent, go. Repent, father. Repent, father. Hey. hey, you'll feel better, you know. Ow. Go on. Go I'm away. Let's go. Got right. here. Stop it already. Hey. Enough. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm done. Just get out of here already. The bastard. <sighs> Girls, I'm telling you, that guy has no class nor integrity. You can't put people away involuntarily now. <sighs> Is that right? I'll arrange it. They'll take him away by ambulance. You'll see. Don't even think about it. I won't let you. <sighs> oh, you see, I knew it. He fell from the stairs, those damn bugs. Run faster, run faster. Save that drunk from himself. <sighs> Vyosh looks so good. Almost like an actor, right? He's so pretty. 
stop staring at him, or I'll scratch your eyes out. <laughs> You're so lucky, Rosa. Oh, stop talking, girls, or you'll jinx the whole thing. Have you already decided when the wedding will be? Mm -hmm. Autumn. His parents arranged it for when my family gets back from Moldova. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everyone, let's get to the table now. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to make a toast. Happiness and health. And may all of your dreams become a reality. Life is truly short. So I wish you all longevity. Hey, cheers. That was a great speech. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Have you lost your head in the city, son? Come on. How could I know? Know what, you idiot? Your bride, remember, is Rosa, not Serena. How could I? How could I? I was just dancing. And there are these customs. Well, you don't like our customs now, is that it? You're a gypsy, for God's sake. It's in your blood. I chose the wrong words. The girl waited for you, by the way. You've been engaged to her your whole life. I got it, I got it. What's up? How are you doing with all this? Doing just fine. I'm performing with our ensemble now. Mm. I'm a soloist. That's great. And and where are your parents living now? Moldova. My aunt is very ill there. Why didn't you go with them? But why? You came back. All right. Uh, sorry, I got confused there. I haven't been here for quite a while. It's weird. I never thought champagne could get this bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> oh, you need to hold on to the handrails. House full of people, but nobody can buy bulbs. Oh, stop yelling, Ty. My head is cracking. I don't know which way is up. Please stop. I'll fly and get those bulbs in the morning, all right? Land already. You've flown enough, oh. Eagle. <laughs> all right, here. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> and, uh, hey. <sighs> Dad, Alex will come tomorrow. You really like this guy, huh? What does that have to do with it? I mean, he's a doctor. I'm not going to the clinic. But why not? Just because I'm a doctor myself. Dad, stop being so stubborn. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> Go to bed. Suitors are coming tomorrow, and then you'll be sleepy, so you need to get rest, all right? There's seriously no work here. I was already thinking of going to the city and look there, but then you came back without a job as a lawyer, right? No, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. 
They've been waiting for me pretty much. Oh, right. This is your father's stud farm. Well, it's not exactly his. Oh. Uh... The farm belongs to the gypsies, and my father's a manager here. Mm. Hey, why are you all awake so early? <laughs> oh, I couldn't get to sleep somehow. I went for a walk, and our disco dancer was here. Oh, come on. I danced as well as I could. Are you in? Oh, Zarina! Be right back in three minutes or face the consequences. I'll have her back before it's too late, Shanita. Ooh. Hey there. <laughs> Where's Serena off to? She went to gently help a wild stallion. Oh. They say he was quite stubborn yesterday. Didn't recognize the new master. So I guess she went to Sarev. That makes sense. I was thinking who Stepan was. Now it's all so clear. What's clear? The heart's interest. I've spread the cards. They say that before sunset, a stranger will take Zarina away from the camp. It's just that Stepan doesn't look much like a king of diamonds. So you read cards, yeah, huh? Yeah, why? <laughs> Let's go for a walk. We've got so many new things since you've been gone. Come on, we've got a new shop that opened up. <laughs> uh, uh, my pretty boy. Let's go. You can handle this savage, huh? I've been by his side since they took him away from his mom. <laughs> so are you really preparing him for a prize? I am, it's true. I just returned from the Emirates. It's an amazing country with amazing people. And they handle business in a great way. Only Arabs, gypsies perhaps, <laughs> can boast such attitudes towards their horses. <laughs> How long have you been dealing with horses? Oh. Easy boy. Since I was a little boy. Is it true that all women wear bells in the Emirates? Well, the husbands can only see his wife without one. <laughs> I heard veils impede on a woman's rights. That's a misconception. Uh, if a man earns money, and provides for a woman, he doesn't care whether she wears a veil or not. I wouldn't be able to do it. It would be like living in a cage. We're not talking about you. You're a free gypsy. Like a bird. You're nothing like the others, you're special. Such a pretty bird as you. Needs a special cage. No thanks, I'm good. The whole sky is not enough for me. Yeah. What's the diagnosis? When'd you last change him? <laughs> Look, I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. Well, you need prophylactics. In both cases, don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, prophylactics, not carburetors or spark plugs. Well, this is really weird, then. Let's try to start it again, perhaps. Mm. Hmm. Uh, uh. No? Not yet. Oh, damn it. This is something mystical. All right, come on. Do you know where you're mistaken? A veil is very sexy. A veiled woman is more interesting for a man than without one. I mean, trust me. I know, it's strange. The thing is, when the body's covered and you can only see her eyes and only her hands,
What did you do? Didn't do a single thing. <laughs> That's Mystics, man. What a beauty she is. <laughs> Somebody help me! Uh. Boris! Uh. Boris! Uh. Uh. Yep. Here, Here, what happened to you? Up. My leg. Uh. Pick her up. Don't, don't, don't worry, uh. we're, we're doctors. Uh. Does it hurt? Uh, yeah. Uh. You gotta hide me. Uh, running from who? Uh, what happened to you? Hey, guys! Uh. Hold her there! She's a thief! That's not true! She robbed me, fellas. What? Uh, what do we do? Get her in the car. Uh, Don't worry about him, all right? All right, go. Uh, hey, where are you dragging her to? Uh, Out of my way. What are you... Uh, come on. <laughs> Who do you think you are? <sighs> She's my woman. She's mine to take. <sighs> Listen, step aside. I'll take her and it'll be fine. You think you're a smart guy, is that it? Huh? Get in the car. Hello there, Natasha. Hey there. Uh, hey, Natasha. Hello. Wow, you've really grown up. Uh, what happened to you guys? Uh, thing is, we've got an emergency. I'll explain later. Listen, get the first aid kit for us, all right? Yeah, hold uh, on. All right, all, right, all right, I'm holding her, I'm holding her, I'm holding her. I got it from here. That's right, calm down. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Yeah, all right. Uh, Bend it. Uh, mm hmm. I see it now. Straighten. Uh, Does it hurt? Uh, yeah. Uh, not a fracture, a dislocation, I guess. <laughs> what are we, colleagues? Uh, well, if you're a beginner veterinarian. I see. Scriabin or some college. Uh, shh, shh, shh. Scriabin. Hey, listen, where's Georgie? What about Taya? Uh, Grandpa's on his walk and Taya went to buy bread. Lord above, guide me. <sighs> Thank you very much for what you've done. Not at all. Take uh -huh. this. Up. Oh. I'm terribly sorry, but I really need to get home. Of course, I'll take you there. I feel so awkward asking, but it's really not far from uh, here. Don't feel awkward. It'd be my pleasure to take you there. Let's go. Like that? Get the door. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I crumbled the bouquet. Uh, don't worry about it. There you go. All right. Uh, Natasha, I'm so sorry about the bouquet. It's totally fine. Uh, oh, and don't start the barbecue without me, all right? Be back soon. Thanks for everything. Thanks a lot. I got you. Just like that. Uh, does it hurt? 
No, no, I'm good. Is anybody home now? No, I think Grandma's out, but we don't lock the door. The house is open, I think. <sighs> That's a wealthy kind of life. <sighs> Careful, take it slow. Uh, that's it, there you go. Okay. <sighs> Does it hurt? Nope. Oh, whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. Uh. Uh. Who are you? Zarina, what happened to you? Uh, Laosh, I fell down. This is Alex, he's a doctor. You a relative? We're all relatives here, man. What happened? All right, so that's Laosh, right? Laosh, right. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to speak to Zarina's grandmother. Then you could ask those questions of yours. But hey, don't worry about me. It's totally cool. Don't worry, please. Are you gonna tell your grandmother what happened? I can't. Oh? Why don't you get the police involved in this, huh? Are you, uh, afraid of that man? No, that's not it at all. I'll deal with it on my own. <gasps> uh, lie down. This is known as a gypsy issue. That's cool. Uh, what about deciding whether to verify these as battery-induced injuries? It's difficult to understand, but we have our own trials. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. We'll solve it, all right? What's going on here? My God, what happened, Serena? Tell me what happened. What's with your poor leg? Grandmother, everything's cool. This is Alex, he's a doctor. And the doctor says that it's all right. Doctor? And what on earth happened to her leg? Look at you, you're all scratched. What are all these bruises? Goodness, your blouse is torn. How did this happen? Yeah. Uh, Zarina. Uh, please calm down. The scratches are just surface wounds, and the leg is fine too. There's no fracture. We'll take an x-ray tomorrow if something still troubles you. It's no problem. For goodness sake, can you tell me? What on God's green earth happened to you? Grandma, look. Well, can I just tell you later? That cool? Can you make that tea of yours? For me? Are you a surgeon? Hmm, I'm a neurosurgeon. I just often have to deal with injuries. I work in the Ministry of Emergencies, in disasters. What year are you in now? Finished my second year. Oof. Uh, doctor. Will you come tomorrow? Of course. The science of things is dead now. Here you go. They don't gather statistics. I've been visiting the archive for three years. If you could only see. There you go. You have to enjoy every moment. Before they take me to the graveyard, my friends, maybe I'll see the day. And not as a ghost. It's some graveyard. You're only entering your scientific bloom. You have plenty of life left. Well, I just wish I could operate. Unfortunately, this is my legacy. <laughs> Come here, boys, I need you. Huh? These are my pupils. Meet my graduates right here. They're the best. <laughs> they don't forget me. <laughs> He's too kind. Come on, Georgie. After what you did for us, we... <sighs> Why? Didn't the granddaughter follow in her grandpa's footsteps? No, she takes after her late mother. She's an art critic. Let's drink for a family like you. That embodies our... Intellectual elite, our brand of science. Hooray! Yeah, Hooray. yeah. cheers. Mm. 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 Ah. Ah. Uh, so look, tell me. Tell me about the ones beyond the river. Ones? Can you be specific? Well, I meant the gypsies. Ah, I see. There was a special decree in 1956 signed by Voroshilov that he'd done it in person. Concerning gypsies, to make them settle near collective farms in order to stop them from Oh, wandering. come on now. This is for your estate, for academics and others who hop to it. 
They cut the land from the village, and uh, the gypsies settled here right after the war. That's it. Well, yes, that's right, that's right. The locals told about it. When the Germans approached Moscow, the uh, gypsies suddenly became partisans. Oh, yeah, and they gave them the land after the war. Here's for you, to live, and that's it. A gypsy camp is just a gypsy camp. Nothing but a mess, that is. <laughs> Nobody wants to work. Depends on how you look at it. <laughs> Igor, it's don't try to make me like them. The pies are here, guys. Oh, there it oh, is, Daisy. Oh, yes. Signature oh, cabbage come pies. Biggest. Come on, That's help so yourself. Good. Natasha, it would be great to have some tea with the pies. Sure. Uh, uh, I'll help you. Uh, Alex, uh, come help me. Uh, of course I will. <laughs> Boris? Oh, what a rotten bastard. What a rotten bastard. I will poison him. I'll jinx him. Him and all his family to the seventh generation will pay for this. Do you understand but... me, sweetheart? He will die. Shanita, I need you. Nothing's good in this world. I just can't believe some people. You're curious. Yeah. I wonder what happened here. Well, you see. Well, it's obvious. What's obvious about it? Can't you figure it out yourself? No, I can't. How about explaining it? <sighs> no. You're like a little boy. What's uh, wrong with this? All right, either you tell me or I'll... Mayosh, better your thinking. You're embarrassing. Think harder. Was it him who did it? Hold on, where are you going? What do you mean, where? We need to go to the police. What for? What do you mean, police? If they didn't come here straight away anyway, they won't do it. What do you mean, they won't? Well, what do you think? Because it was just a date. The man got carried away. Perhaps she started playing hard to get. I don't understand. What don't you understand? How can you say these kinds of things about her? You're her friend. Uh, what do you think I said? You said that it was Zarina. It was her fault that she got attacked. Mm, well, perhaps it wasn't like that. But who can know the truth now? <laughs> Laos, let's go for a walk. Come on. I guess it turns out that I don't know you at all. Take a walk on your own. I'll wait for my father. Why are you here? You don't have an idea? <laughs> Think I just might? Something about me not going to the police? Listen, Ramirez, she broke my head. But you started it. Yeah. If I started it, why did you come to me? You know where you should go, right? And you know exactly what they will tell us. I know. They'll say there's no evidence of the crime. Nothing happened, Ramir. What do you mean, nothing? Lyosh. He's lying right to our faces. <sighs> the girl is in shock. Her leg is severely injured. Her grandmother's grieving. And you're telling me that nothing happened? Ugh. <sighs> All right, now, how much? Whatever you want. This is an honest family and an honest girl. Oh. So you're offering me the chance to marry her? 
Ramir, I wasn't exactly planning on enabling any gypsy wenches She's today. She's not a wench. And who are you? What can you do against me? <sighs> not very much. <clears throat> now what though? I can make the decision to deal with you. Or leave it to fate. Ramir, Ramir, Ramir. All right, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was the devil's work. You know what I mean? Girls like this wait in line to get with me. <laughs> she came to help you, not to wait in line. There's a difference, you see? Mm -hmm, mm hmm I get it. I realize now. Ramir, give the girl my apologies. If the family is poor, I'll help with uh, what I can. They won't take money. If they accept your apologies, that's fine. If they don't, all of our business relations are over. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. How will you manage, Ramir? You still owe me for two stallions, by the way. Huh. We'll manage. I've already paid you half now. I'll inform you of their final decision later. <sighs> Let's get the hell out of here. Oh. So scared. <laughs> Hey there. Why, hello there, Doctor. How are you feeling? How'd you sleep? Everything's fine, thank you. Uh, well, how about that? Uh, mm, does your leg still hurt? No, Doctor. Will you still see me? By all means, though, I just don't know when yet. I hope you make it. Uh, Grandma won't let me get up before you come. She needs it to be official. <sighs> there you have it, a responsible grandmother. By the way, take the doctor's advice. So much for the formal address. My name's Alex. I remember. Oh, looks like Grandma's here. Come over, please. We're waiting for you All right, right now. All right, Ramir, come in. How are you feeling, my dear? I'm fine. The doctor just called me. He said he's coming. Lyosh and I went to see Tsarev. He apologizes and says he'll compensate you for Ramir, it. Ramir, we don't need any of that scumbag's money. No, that's up to you to decide. As for me, I'm ready to sever any and all business Let's ties. sever all his limbs. This is your decision, girl. We'll do exactly what you tell us. We promise you. I'll still know that man wanders the earth. Fate decides. Mm -hmm. I accept his apologies, but on the condition that I never see him again. Ah, Rosa, come in. Liars, Rosa's here. Hello. How was your visit? Turns out you were wrong. I never meant any malice, you know. I promise. I hope so. Listen, how about we go swimming? The water in the river is so warm today. Hmm? No way. My the father's, father's coming, coming. now. I want to visit Zarina. Zarina. If she's awake, who, who knows, knows, right? I'm coming too. Ex graduates, I've invited you for the following purpose. You're part of an elite crew of the highest order. Is Uncle Nick at home? Yeah, he's home. Father! Children, haven't you been taught to say hello? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. There he is now. Oh, who's here? Mm, now this time. He's squeaking all the time. He doesn't drink milk. Sergey found him in the bushes. Ah, uh, the foundling, that is. Well, all right, let's come and see why. Come on. 
He doesn't drink milk. Why don't you drink milk, huh? Give me a good reason. I'm listening. I remember these folders. These are records, boy. I've been keeping them for almost my whole life. I've been putting it off, but I can't do it any longer. Everything that's collected there is the basis for proving the theory concerning the functions of a specific area of the brain. Alex, it is directly related to the subject of your dissertation. Traumatic amnesia? Is this the work that you weren't allowed to finish during the Soviet times? Well, it's more of a legend. But they didn't give me a lab for this. Ah, uh, I remember this case. You've told us about it. I remember it's related to the city life. Moreover, the city vanished, and his relatives, every one of them, had died. You remember correctly. To cut a long story short, all these cases indirectly proved me right. Oh, Georgie, you just... you... You'd be absolutely crazy if you didn't finish it. This is why I called you all. All my hypotheses and conclusions are just here now and there now. Oof. We're ready to do everything. You know, decoding, statistics... Uh... No, 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 no. I don't need laborers, understand. I'm inviting you to be my co-authors. Georgie, come on now. I need all of you, with all the energy that you have, for a month or a month and a half. I need your experience. Yours, Alex, in the medicine of disasters, and your gift for systemization, Boris. If we agree upon it, I'll arrange your vacation with your bosses, believe me. Decide. Uh, I'm giving you a week to think about it. <sighs> Does it hurt? No. And that? Mm -mm, no. That's wonderful. How did you reduce the swelling? Grandma made a compress for it. Hmm. You've got a great grandmother. She did well. Uh, what do you say, doctor? It's fine. The leg's all right. She can dance and have fun like it's brand new or something. Oh, that is fantastic. Have you solved your gypsy issue? Yeah, it was dealt with. How's that? Well, do we really have to talk about it? <sighs> no, sure we don't. That is your right. But I still don't understand. Alex, wait. Are you leaving today? Mm, yeah. But perhaps I'll move here for a little while longer. Perhaps, or when will you know for sure? Well, I'm looking at you and realizing that this chance is becoming more and more real. Tell me something. So, would I be infringing upon some supernatural custom I'm not fully aware of? No. Who told you such a stupid thing? But I get how some people look at us. Ah. <laughs> Alex, did you take the laptop charger? Of course I did. And your cell phone charger? Uh, this I forgot. I'm a moron. What would I do without you, Mom? You'll be just dying without me. Oi, what is this? Hmm. Farewell of a slab? Nina, are you sending this kidult across the ocean or over to the doctor? The science, yeah. My son is coming back to the science. Mom. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Mm -hmm. Uncle. Right. Don't shame my national science. Oh, come on. What else can I say? But I'll do my utmost not to disappoint you. <laughs> All right, I'm off now. Give a kiss to Natasha for Sir, me. no problem. Oh, I just can't believe it. Why are you so excited, huh? Huh? I remember when the Ministry of Emergencies sometimes sent him places that even I was worried. While you're steady as a rock. Must really want Alex back in science. Of course I do. But 
It's not so simple. Listen, do you really think that he came here just for the sake of science? What else could it be? Her name is Natasha. <laughs> there you go. Now I see why you've been feeding me the history of our entire family this whole week. Daughter's death, some gypsies. No, not gypsies. It's one gypsy. One gypsy. She hexed Nick and his family. Then Anya, Nick's wife, she died. Hold on. Prove the version. First with Natasha. Well, it's elementary. Listen closely. Here's the thing, though. First, after he came back from there, he'd been locked up inside his room and talking on the phone for hours the whole week. With? No, not with me. <laughs> Seen the shelf in the bathroom? Did he break it? No, he didn't. <laughs> he took two bottles. Two bottles of the French eau de cologne. <laughs> Well, the evidence base is quite weak. There is something in it, but no. Why do you think that all these deeds are for Natasha? I'll tell you why. Because the thing is that Georgie only has one granddaughter. <laughs> I see. Pass me the shovel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's way. Okay. Good. Hello. Hello, where are you? I'm approaching the village. And your friend? Boris came up two days ago. Are you ready to show me around the whole place? I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, are you sure we need to do it today? You just came, didn't you? I won't wait until tomorrow. I've been waiting the whole week long. All right, then. Bye now. I want to thank the two of you for agreeing to make this leap together and doubling down your efforts. Uh, uh, Georgie, listen. Um, well, Boris and I... Just wanted to clarify our statuses one last time. Well, now, about that. I'll explain for the slow-witted one last time. I'll accept your help only on the condition of co-authorship. Any more questions? No questions, then. Mm. Let's discuss the terms, then. Natasha. Yeah. Grandfather was invited to make the first overview report at the beginning of autumn. And I take coordinating this part of the project upon myself. I'll prepare the slides and, and whatever else you'll deem necessary. Well, we are short on time. I suggest that we do it from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. If we feel that we're not exhausting ourselves, we'll also work in the afternoon. Everyone agree? Totally. I'll be waiting for you tomorrow sharply at 8. Oh. We'll sail the tides. <laughs> well, let's eat and go swimming. What do you guys think? <laughs> totally. Alex? Huh? Hello there. Didn't recognize me? No, you're just even more beautiful than I remembered. Thanks for that. You sure you're not some sorceress? Perhaps just a teeny tiny bit. That's what I thought. <laughs> Are you sure I'm not trampling over some family custom? Well, this is not accepted. There will be talking. Not accepted to come and pick up a girl? Well, you see, you're not one of us, not a gypsy. And grandmother would swear... Hold on, your grandmother? I thought she respects doctors. Hmm? Well, she respects them as long as they carry out their direct duties professionally. <laughs> 
But when they start asking granddaughters out for a walk... We'll have to do something about it. You know I'm going to ask you out every single day. I'm completely free after 1 p.m. Mm. You know I'm also going to talk to your grandmother. Alex, what exactly are you going to tell her? Uh, I'll tell her... The, the science of the human brain. Um, <laughs> we'll make a huge step uh, ahead in the near future. And this day is a part of that evolution. <laughs> Shall we? How much for the blue ones? For the blue ones? Seventy. And they're yours. Are you out of your mind? It looks like they wilted two days They're good, I promise you. No, thank you. Uh, hello, my friend. It's been a long time. Hello there, hello there. It has been a long time indeed. Why are you back to the market? Huh? The need came around? Huh? I'll help you with what I can if need be. We're not strangers. There's no need. Everything's just fine. My granddaughter is a grown-up now. She's off somewhere. And I'm... Well, bored and alone. How is she? Is she a student? She is, and she's doing just great. She turned out to be quite clever. And beautiful. Oh, so beautiful that I might need to veil her face. I'm afraid someone will jinx her. And how is yours? A student, too. She's also beautiful. But she's uh, somehow insecure. A lot like her mother. Oh, any suitors yet? Hmm. Seems like she likes a guy. Well, I don't know how it'll play out. Have you found one for your daughter? <laughs> well, as far as I know, she does not like a single soul. But she's on the phone all the time. Hides everything from me while she talks to someone that I don't know about. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm off. Why aren't you talking about Nick? How is he? Uh, <laughs> the same. Uh, you know. Still drinking. <sighs> Here, take it. Brew the herb and give it to him. Uh, no, he won't drink it. I guarantee you that. No. Uh, How's the grandfather? Uh, Has he thawed? It's... <laughs> it's been so many years. Natasha grew up. <sighs> of course, he's thawed. Moreover, he's got students to work with now. Youth gives him powers. Now he started some work and gathered the whole house of people. <laughs> it's literally boiling. Well, uh, I'm off. You take care now. I'm not an expert in art, but when you look at it in real life, not on the internet, it's wonderful. You bet. Did your mother prepare all this? Yeah. Well, not alone, of course. But she put a lot of effort into it. It's a pity I didn't introduce you two. As luck would have it, the officials came and... I don't think it was the best plan, actually. She's at work, and we're just hanging around. <laughs> what else, then? We've got a rush job with the professor. All right, let's make a deal. I'll visit your grandma for some tea sometime this week. What do you say? <laughs> to be honest, I'm afraid it would be too unexpected for her. And I... I don't know what your mom will think about the fact that I'm a gypsy. Uh, come on. 
It's the 21st century and you still live by some medieval laws. Gajo, not Gajo. Gypsy, not Gypsy. It's all somehow... That's not funny. Anyway, what's the difference what my mom has to say about it? Most important is that I love you. Do you? No, I'm lying. <laughs> well, of course. And I absolutely love the fact that you're a gypsy above all else. Let's go. Anyway, it's too early to worry. It's already been three weeks, and we aren't even halfway through any of it. But we've drawn some conclusions already, and they're solid. We've got them, sure. But presenting the work before the interpretation is completed would be just a shame. Do you know why Alex has been disappearing all the time? Has he lost interest in the work? No, he's interested. Of course he is. It's just that he hadn't had a vacation in three days, and... All right, then. I understand. No, it's not like that, Georgie. Alex is with us. He told me about today, like a week ago, and Nina well, has an exhibition opening today, and Alex certainly had to be there, you know? Well, of course, yeah. Why didn't you and Boris come to the exhibition? Nina called even twice. You wanted to come. And then we didn't. Alex came with, with that one, right? You know the one. I don't know, and I don't want to. Natasha, let's head to the river. I don't want to. Oh, well, all right. Come on, get, get. You'll make the milk go sour, along with the day. Hiya. Come on, I'll peel the rest myself. Get going. I need to hang the laundry. It can't be done without you, is that it? We'll figure it out. Just get going. <sighs> Mr. Hard Worker. <laughs> What's up? I feel so good in the village. Mm -hmm. The summer's wonderful. The summer. The last days are upon us. Rosa, don't do that. What's wrong with this? Enough. Stop. Just stop it. Why not? We're getting married soon anyway. Because I don't want this wedding. Do you understand? I don't. Uh, uh, How can we get married if I don't love you? Do you understand? It's because of her. You just keep going around her house in circles. Let it be. The heart wants what it wants. I've now said it aloud, and I feel a newfound freedom. She doesn't want you. She doesn't even love you back that I will make her love me. <laughs> Has Boris taken off as well? Uh, don't you worry, he'll be back in a moment. He went to the river with Natasha, let them swim. 
Why don't you ask Nick here? He's not a stranger. Well, I could help. It'll be my pleasure. Ah, I'm just gonna need to get my glasses. <clears throat> Why are you putting him with me? Mm, but he's a doctor, too. He'll understand. Was a doctor. But he reduced himself to a veterinarian. Uh, listen to me. Do you know who Alex goes to see across the river? I don't want to hear a damn thing about it. Don't bother me with such things. Hmm. Well, suit yourself. Well, so, what do we have here? You see, when you go to the gypsy camp, there's one road. When you leave the camp, it splits. You see? <sighs> this one leads to the field. And that one there, to the camp, there's also a bend there. Mm -hmm. I see. A man gets carried away, drives by here, and wakes up in the field. <laughs> All right, we're here now. Already? All right, it's Masha's Glade. That's it, I can't go any further. Why is it Masha's, by the way? They say a gypsy died here, the one who made this road that drives travelers away. Is Masha really a gypsy name? Any name is a gypsy name for us. See, it goes like this. If we like it, it's Gypsy. My mom's name was Masha too, by the way. Mm, and your father? Georgie. Well then, how old were you when they both died? I was a newborn. Mm -hmm. They were just coming from my father's family to show me to my grandmother. Then the accident, it all happened so fast. I was two and my father had died as well, so I understand. I'm sorry for your father. Losing your dearest ones is the worst. Mm. My uncle, Zenya, helped us a lot. And then they got together somehow when I grew up. Now it's us. <laughs> it brings light. When people come together? Uh, you know, I'm gonna talk to Uncle Zenya about this man. Why now? There's no reason for it. I wanna bring some calm back. When I bring you here, my heart feels as if... as if it's in the wrong place. Why is that? Because I'm going crazy when you're not with me. I can't help it. Listen, I'm not good with it. But what's to discuss? <laughs> Have you discussed it? Oh, yeah? Give me a sec. What's up? A girl came for you, says it's urgent. What girl is this? Rosa Vitrova. She says she sings in your restaurant. Uh-huh. All right, well, I know her. Well, call her if it's urgent. All right, gotta go. I'll call you later and we'll discuss it. Mm-hmm. Hello, sir. Thanks for seeing me. Well, don't thank me just yet. Why are you here? I need to talk to you. Oh, is that right? If it's about the payment, I'm not the person to talk to. You want a drink? Some tea or coffee? No, thanks. I'm good. This is... quite personal. About Zarina. I thought it was something like this. Hmm. Well then, what is it now? She needs money, I suppose? Not money. It's something else. Zarina wants to see you in person. See me? Mm-hmm. See me. She thinks that she'll be able to get more cash if she sees me in person, right? <laughs> Does Ramir know about this? He doesn't. This? He mustn't know. She... She likes you. <laughs> so she hit me because she really likes me. 
<laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> but it was your fault. You attacked her like a savage. Well, that's the only way I know. Can you show me another, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Let her come over. Why not? Uh, not here. So do I have to go to the camp or something? Not in the camp, either. Grandpa, calm down. Grandpa, calm down. Stop it, please, already. The pressure's rising. That's all right. What, what, have, I, what have I done to deserve it? I'll kill you. Well, of course. Yeah, it's all my fault. Go, go deal with it on your own without me. Look, look, all right, let's come upstairs. You'll rest. Good evening. <laughs> Boris, what, uh, what happened here? Uncle Nick tried to help out with some of the decoding. He said something wrong, Professor responded, and, well, it just burned up like a volcano. And there you go. Ah, my daughter. Come on in. Come on in. Is he calm now? Everything cool? Yeah, he is. I don't know what's come over me, you know? He's leaving me no chance, you know? I don't understand. Father, what have you been trying to share for all these years? Ah, uh, sweetheart, we shared it long ago, but... The thing is, no one got anything. You talking about Mom? Among other things. Hold on. When she was ill, you fought for her life together, right? That's how it went. But what did it change, my dear? What did it change? In the end, incurable diseases are to blame. Not a one. It's so hot. I'm soaking. I'm sweating. Should I bring you tea? Uh, no, no. I'll go down myself. I'll get... I'll get some water, and then I'm... Ghost, 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 ghost. Uh, Dad. Dad, don't drink, please. And everything will be fine. We cool? Ready back? Why are you sitting in the dark? Are you hungry? Why did you take it? What did I tell you? It finally happened, Grandma. I fell in love. With the doctor? Yes, his name is Alex. Why did you keep it silent? I didn't really know how to tell you about it. Ah, oh, Zarina, Zarina. I wish I could whip you with these nettles. I mean that. You're using Grandma's weakness, Grandmother's love, too. Any one of ours would make you happy. But you? You found a stranger.
Oh, sweetheart. You've made the bed. Thank you for that. Father, where is this bracelet from? You went drinking. I specifically asked you not to. Grandmother, it's destiny. Destiny is destiny, but all should be done as needed. What kind of family does he have? Only a mother and an uncle. Why on earth aren't they coming to meet you? They don't know how it's done here. Explain it to them. Oh, Grandma, I'll ex explain everything to them. I promise. I love you. Yes. Thank you. Serena, listen. Don't let anything, anything happen before the wedding. Of course, Grandmother. I promise I won't. Masha, my sweet girl. It's a pity she didn't see her daughter grow up and become so mature. She made her first steps and now she's in love. It's complete. She got nothing but grief and only agony. Green willow, those green willows. Whatever what have you done, done but break, break the family all in a part? Such is life. A lonely song, so very lonely. This was your mother's favorite song. We know it well. Grandma Shanita, Serena, sorry for bothering you. Why are you here? I'm a little bit ill. My throat hurts so much. All right, I'll make you a good gargle. No, I have another problem though. I have to perform at the company party today, but my voice is gone. So what? Serena, please, sister, help me. <sighs> I just can't lose my job. You're very talented musically, and you know all the music in my heart. Please help me. I can't wait for you to get married because your husband wouldn't allow such Grandma, work. I'll go. Well, all right. You want to do some work? Fine, then. A company party late at night. God forgive me. I have it right here. Now you're going to get dressed. Thank you, dear. He's already upset. I know we won't make it on time. And now there's this. What do you mean? I had to go there. I don't know. Let's raise the issue of postponing the presentation until tomorrow. You know something? Let's take this week as a control one. We'll get rid of all the deficiencies and understand whether it's critical or not. All right, but I have to come home at the end of the week anyway. Well, I suppose you're meeting the parents? May I? Uh, yeah, sit down. All right, listen up, guys. I know that I almost never talk to you. It's my fault. I know that it is. And I feel sorry for the professor. But I just fell in love like a fool. I can't think of anything else. All my thoughts are about her, where she goes, Who's with her?
Is this the right place here? I was told there's a company party. That's right, you're expected. Come on in. <sighs> Serena. Wow, you're just so beautiful. Come here, please. Have a seat. We'll deal with your problems. I was told that there's a company party. That's exactly right. I had to make something up for your grandmother to let you out of the house. That's kidnapping, in a sense. <laughs> you know how much I like taking what I want. Wait, seems I forgot. <clears throat> Zarina, my sweet girl. <clears throat> Forgive me for that time. It wasn't from malice. It was the devil's work. Don't hold grudges. As they say, let bygones be bygones. Stop it! Now hold still. I mean you no harm. <laughs> Smell like a slice of heaven. Get off of me! Sit still. Come on. I thought we played this game already, huh? You know, I also like to caress. You know how I caress. <laughs> <sighs> Come on! You better stay away from me! What the hell is this? Wait! Serena! Are you making a fool out of me? Come on! You pretty girls are all the same. Stay away! Well, you got a hero here. Oh, so it's a setup. Come to the hayloft. There's a hero with a knife, right? You wanted to get even with me, right? Wait, chill out. Hold on a second there, guys. Ah, you wanted to get revenge, am I right? Would your grandmother approve if she saw you? Stay away or I'll kill you. Hold on, partner. Take your wench and get out. And never come back. Let him go, man. First place? Rosa had asked me to step in for her. For the love of all things holy. Laios, did she do it on purpose? She came to me an hour ago <laughs> and said that you and him were lovers. She said she knew where you had your date. <laughs> and that I could see for myself. She also gave me the address, of course. Don't cry. Calm down. It's all over. Why did she do it to me? Zarina, I have to tell you that I... Hold on. Don't pick it up. It's, a uh, Alice calling. Who? Where's he going? I don't know. Serena. Let's go. Hey, thanks so much. Let's go.
or in the field, by the campfire. I feel like a real gypsy. Alex, do you know what the gypsy flag is? I don't. <sighs> the colors are blue, green, and some red. <sighs> blue is the sky above. Green is the grass below. Uh-huh. And the red is the fire, right? <laughs> Not quite. There's a circle there. It's a wheel. <sighs> the wheel is... exactly what let us down. <sighs> By the way, do you know that when the car refused to go here for the first time? Uh, right when you jumped out of the forest in front of us? Why isn't it working now? Because it's giving us time to do some thinking and to be together. Alex, uh, what? I want to tell you something right now. Uh, what is it? Listen to uh, me. We're going to have to take things a bit slower. Uh, Believe me, I feel just uh, like you do. Uh, look, honey. Look, it'll be any way that you want it to be. Uh, Grandmother asked to call her as soon as the company party is over. Uh, all right, call Grandma. What's the problem? There's no problem whatsoever. What am I going to tell her? The entire truth. Tell her that you're with me. She knows about us. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, but she uh, was waiting for your mom and stepdad uh, to ask for my hand in marriage. Oh, dear Lord. Do you understand that it's a little bit more difficult now? <laughs> well, they're asleep. God, I'll always hold you. I will always hold you so close now. Do you understand? Oh, look, a car. A pullover? Hey, my man, would you take us to Moscow? No problem. Ah, great. Moscow? How? Why Moscow? Because I'm stealing you away now. We're going to my house. Call your grandma so she won't worry. Well, I think that it's okay to steal you and then ask for your hand in oh, marriage. Oh, Alex. <laughs> Get in, my bride. All right. Take us away. <laughs> 